Hey guys, welcome back. We are continuing our journey through Final Fantasy VII. And I still can't get over the fact that I'm bloody playing this game. This is awesome. -o. We have just blown up a reactor. We just jumped on the train. And we are now making our way back to our hideout. We're kicking all the bloody bums out. Get out of here. Go home. Go home to your bloody wives. So uh, we're gonna, we can go around. We can do some stuff. We can do some things. So, um, hello mate. Hee hee, you want to meet the, your little boy, your little baby, little baby. Hey, don't act like you don't know what I mean. I'm telling you. Uh, okay. Okay, go ahead. There we go. Next, and now we get to see one of our old friends, Papa. Not you. No, you're just a little crying little girl. It's Tifa! Aren't you going to say anything to Cloud? Ooh, welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Brush my hair back, push my boobs out. Did you fight with Barrett? Not this time. Uh, what do I want to say to sound like a douche? Uh, yes, yes I did. I should have known. He always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. Good to see you, Tifa. I've what I feel like a bit awkward looking at you because I've watched way too much um, <clears throat> anime porn. Um, I'm so glad everyone's safe. Jeez, those pixelated breasts are right in your face. Right, what am I doing? I'm going out, and then I act casual. Act casual. <laughs> there you go. What are you doing, Barrett? Papa! Welcome home. Aw, bless. Fun fact about Barrett, number four. I think it's four. He's the only character that has a daughter. You're all right, Barrett. Ah, great. Get in here, fools. We're starting a meeting. Aw, throwing his daughter around like... Like a like a lovely proud father like me, I do the same thing. I get told off a lot. <laughs> Are we having a chit chat, or do I go downstairs? Sit down. How about something to drink? I don't feel like it. Give me something hard. I mean, you sound like a dick, so uh, I can make a drink just. Uh, I can make a drink just as good as anyone else. Everyone says my drinks taste the best. Ah, fair enough. That's the end of that. Cloud, uh, are you feeling all right? Yeah. Why? I don't know why I went and gave him a snake voice then. No reason. You're just a little thought, I guess. Yeah, that's why I'm so miserable. Because I don't want to go on a date with you. I want to go on a date with Barrett. <laughs> uh, I prefer the company of men. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. What's there? Anyone from Soldier Soldier fighting us today? Looks puzzled. No, nope. I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you would have been standing here right now. Oh, you arrogant bastard! Don't go thinking you're so bad. Jeez, cause uh, you're in Soldier, dude. Hold me back. Hold me back. Hold me back. What are you doing down there, mate? Look, like you're humping his leg. Oh, dearie me. Close up. Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. Uh, but don't forget that you're skinny ass working for Avalanche now. Don't get no idea as about hanging out and sh hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. Ooh, tension. Ooh, right up in his grill. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Stroof, he just called you out, son. Wait, Cloud. Let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up. I don't care about you, Shinra or soldier. Dude, you got some attitude. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Oh, you arrogant asshole! And this is what I mean about, like, yeah, I went on about the first fight. He tells Barrett, don't hit him when it tells up. 
and now he doesn't care about the planet or anyone else or anybody who lives in this world by the looks of it. So Cloud is very much a emo bastard. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you, please join us. Sorry, Tifa. I must sit alone in a corner and listen to My Chemical Romance. The planet is dying, slowly but surely it's dying. Something has to be done. Someone has to do something. So let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. Where's my hair gel? So, you're really leaving. You're just going to walk right out, ignoring your childhood friend. What? Uh, how can you say that? Uh, I'm gonna say sorry. Sorry, I don't give a damn. You forgot the promise too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember Cloud? It was seven years ago. <laughs> Story development. Look, the well. Do you remember? Yeah, back then. Back then, there was so much room. Babies burp and flowers bloom. I thought you would never come, and I was going getting a little cold. Oh, little Cloud, you look just as grumpy as you do as an older gentleman. Sorry I'm late. Nice little dress she's got there. Matching shoes. Hmm. Do, 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 do. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Come this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. All boys are leaving our town. Great pig, ponytail, but I'm different from all them. I'm not just going to find a job. Stands up, looks tall, and says, I want to join soldier. Okay, cool. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? That's her voice as a child. Stands up on top of the pedestal, looks up towards the sky and says... Yeah, huh? <laughs> Isn't it hard to join soldier? I probably wouldn't be able to come back to this town for a while. See, he, 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 he. you're such an idiot. You're a skinny mofo. You're not going to get into soldier. Huh? Uh, will you be in the newspapers if you do well? Yeah, front page, baby. Uh, I'll try. Hey, why don't you make me a promise? Um, if I get really famous, if you get really famous and I never in a bind, you'll come save me, alright? What? Whenever I'm in trouble, my hero comes to me and rescue me. I want to at least experience that once. Aww. What? It's like, dude, mate, she's proper flirting with you, mate. Read the signals. Come on, promise me. Pinky promise her. Physical contact, mate. Starts with starts with a bit of physical. All right, I promise. Jeez, mate. Jeez, read the signs. Back in the bar. You remember now, don't you? I promise. I'm not a hero, and I'm not famous. I can't keep the promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined soldier. Scratchy head. So come on, you gotta keep your promise. The hell with your pinball machine elevator. I'm climbing up this pole. Wait a sec, big time soldier. How do we, I'm gonna get this out of my breastplate. Uh, a promise is a promise. Here, you know how to keep a promise. Ooh, bunch of gill. What's he gonna say? He's gonna get told off for this. This is my pay? Don't make me larf. What? Then you're... You got, you got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3,000. You... You evil mofo. It's okay. It's okay. He's just... Pss, pss, we're really hurting for the help. Right? 
the money's for me in schooling. Marlene's schooling. 2000. Thanks, Cloud. Ah, I think now we have a nice siesta on a nice squishy bed, lots of pillows. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's just the floor. There it is, on the floor, next to a cardboard box. Fantastic. And that regained all my health? Yeah. We don't need no potions. Out we go. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, oh I should have chatted the Barrett first. Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Uh, next to you, who wouldn't? Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's keep that one. Psst, psst. Keep it down. I hear you. Barrett's always edgy before an operation. I'm going this time. Oh, cool. Uh, hey, Barrett. Our target is the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud, before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. Uh, I don't really know how to use materia. I'll give you that material you found. Just teach me how to use it. Uh, we're going to skip this. Uh, you wouldn't understand. I sh mm, I'm a bit confused as to who my favorite at the moment. It's a bit all over the place. So, this is what makes them guys and soldiers so great, huh? Okay, I'll ask Jesse again later. But you're in charge of the materia. Lovely. Now I can equip stuff. Uh, Cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you, don't forget. Cool. Earning, you watch the store while we're gone. Little girl who's barely at the drinking age, you're now you're now serving the drinks. <laughs> if all the creepy guys come in here, let me know. Take care. Brush your hair. Um cool. So now we got free rain. We got now we got bloody lovely Tifa on our side. Uh, I keep getting confused with bloody X and circle. Right, so uh, first thing I want to do, I want to buy some materia. I think I can buy it in here. Huh? Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, mate. Another slow day. If this, if this keeps up, the store's going under. Can't sell any real good medicine in the slums like this. Oh, yeah, mate. You got a customer right here. What can I get you? Uh, buy, we sell, we buy, we sell, we buy. Uh, here we go. So I own one ice, one lightning, and one um, restore. So I'm going to buy two of these bad boys. And then I'm going to buy a fire as well. With the plan, with the plan stand, of equipping everyone with at least one of each. One, you know, one restore, one attacking magic. Um, what have you got on there, Cloud? You've got this and that. You've got this and... Nothing else, this and that. Well, no other. Oh, pooey. We need some. Um... I need something that I can equip a some more material on. Um... Have you got? Oh, pooey, pooey, pooey. Oh, look at that! I can give him a new weapon, but I've spent all my money. So. Iron Bengal. I really want two of those. Um, let me sell something. Can I sell? How much do you give me for a potion? How much for an ether? Yeah, we'll find plenty more down the line. So I wanna, I wanna buy all this stuff here, right here, right now. I probably would be able to find it down the line, but there you go. Uh, nicely done. So here we go, here we go. This web, this this episode is dedicated to me sorting out my jams. Um, there we go, and then, oops. There we go. Uh, you, sir, you can have your, your new brand new jammers. And I think I'm a square, I can now start equipping some. So I'm gonna get rid of that for you, mate. And I'm gonna put that there, actually. Store, and then 
little store so everyone's got a thing and then you can now use fire you use ice and everybody is happy everybody's happy now let's see what's going down up here i believe there's some stuff and things we can do if i select i can see where i need to go there we go do, do, do. oh hello i think i can get some all material around here somewhere uh oh god yes 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 thank you But I do believe there is some ore material somewhere. Does it congratulate me for using that? I can't remember. What's she saying? This is a fable save point. At a save point, you can use a tent and save. There's more too. Look for some secrets. Even if you're wiped out, you can do the save and you can restart from the save point. Uh, that's when you don't have to worry when you get beaten by wiped out. This is to jump ahead a little bit, but. When you leave Midgar, once you get to the world map, you can save anywhere you like. Remember that. Will do. Uh, that should be all you need to know about the save point. I'll probably see you again sometime on the road. Is that save point talking to me? I think it is. Oh, it's a box. The gunners make sure you keep an eye for me. I got stuff. I got things. I swear to God that there was an all material around there somewhere. Uh, somewhere. Hmm. Maybe it's further up. Nah, there it is. There, right in front of my face. Uh, there we go. Lovely. So I've got my Ether back that I sold. Fantastimo. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here. Do boo boo doo boo boo doo boo boo doo boo. Hello, kid. It's the slums. So I don't think you can stay here for free. What are you gonna do? Doesn't seem like you. Uh, no way. Bugger off, mate. Well, I'm full health, so bugger off. I want to go through your drawers and do some stuff and things. I think there is some money around here somewhere. Nah, that's mostly another room that I'm thinking of. So we got all material as well. So I'm gonna give that to what's his face. Let's give that to someone. Give it to Cloud. You don't have to use all. All for those of you who don't know, everyone knows, right? I'm assuming everyone knows what's in this. Bloody news. Green materia does something, an action, uh, yet like a, a spell, if you will. Um, fire, ice, cure, etc., etc. Um, yellow is a command. Blue is like a bolt on. Does some sort of like additional effect to whatever material is attached to. Red is summons. And I think that's about it. Purple is something to your character. Um, like HP up or something like that. Or counter. Something like that. Anyway, guys, we did some stuff. The story kept going. We got some materia. Our boys are nicely stocked up. The story has continued. And we will jump on the next train to Sector 5, by the looks of things. But we're going to leave that to the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Come back in the next episode, guys. And I'm gonna take a whiz in the corner. What's the the next before the next episode? Cheers, then, guys. See you next episode. Bye, bye.